Welcome to the Nauticam NA EVA 1 Underwater Housing Installation Guide for the Panasonic EVA 1 Cinema Camera. Tim Sullivan of Reef Photo and Video will demonstrate just how simple and easy this setup process is. You'll want to start by removing the back of the housing. Move both housing levers into the release position by depressing the red button and moving the lever outwards. Then pull off the back of the housing to remove it. To remove the camera tray, move the locking lever into the release position and pull the tray out. Attach the tray to the top of the EVA 1 camera by threading the Allen screws from the tray into the top of the camera. You can use the included Allen key from the tray to do this. Next, attach the Panasonic LCD monitor to the tray using the thumb screws to secure it in place. Plug the LCD monitor into the camera and carefully route the cable along the camera so it doesn't interfere with the top of the tray. Next, begin to place the assembled camera tray back into the housing. Be sure to plug in the remote cable for record triggering and slide the assembled camera tray all the way in until it cannot go any further. Lastly, secure the tray into place using the locking lever. You'll want to activate the moisture alarm and vacuum electronics along the back of the housing and then place the back of the housing on and secure it into place by turning both locking levers inwards. Next, you'll want to attach your lens and port. Before installing the lens, make sure both the zoom and focus dials are disengaged. Then attach the lens to the camera. Engage the zoom and focus dials and perform a quick function test to ensure they're working properly. To attach the port, depress the red button on the port locking lever and pull it outwards into the release position. Line up the white dot on the port to the white dot on the housing and gently push the port into the housing. Then move the port locking lever inwards and into the lock position. Lastly, remove the vacuum cap and begin pulling the vacuum. You'll notice the light changing from flashing blue to flashing yellow and then finally over to solid green. Once you have a green light, stop pumping and place the vacuum valve back on. Now you're ready to dive. For further information on this product, support, or questions, please contact our Reef Photo and Video staff. We're here to help.